joined by Pats captain Connor Bedard. Connor, thank you so much for joining us here today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. So, Connor, we've seen the pro release, we've seen the silky mitts, but how does it translate onto the links? How's the golf game? Uh, it's pretty average at best. So, uh, I don't know. It, it might be uh, it might be some some bad shots here today, but hopefully it's not not terrible. I mean, I think you're gonna look like a PGA pro compared <laughs> to my game. Let's get to it. Connie, you got your start skating at a really young age, but what's your youngest hockey memory? Yeah, I think probably, you know, first time I went out, I remember I didn't like it at all. It was, you know, kind of power skating stuff. So, you know, a lot of people don't like that as much as shooting and stick handling. And then, uh, you know, I remember kind of going out by myself and with a puck and, and uh, you know, kind of just fooling around. And that's kind of when I fell in love with it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Walk me through what it's like scoring a goal in front of a packed house here versus maybe your first goal when you guys are playing yeah. in the bubble. Shot scores. Yeah, it's a lot different. I think uh, you know, obviously the bubble was was a you know different experience. But you know, at that age, I feel like you never really had a crowd. So uh, you know, for me, it wasn't wasn't much different. And then uh, you know, obviously, you can tell the difference here. You know, the last last three four games have been been unbelievable for us. The turnouts we've gotten, and you know, it's a lot of fun to play in front of them. <laughs> I mean, it's on the fairway. Yeah, on the fairway. It's on the wrong fairway. For a lot of players, when you move away from home, you go in with a billet family. There might be that feeling out process. You didn't have to have that. You get to stay with your mom. What is it like uh, getting your home cooked meal stuff that she knows exactly what you like for your pregame meal? She's my, my favorite cook in the world. So, uh, you know, that's definitely, definitely awesome. And uh, just for her to, you know, come out and support me like that is, uh, you know, pretty incredible. So uh, it's definitely nice. What is the go-to pregame meal for you? Is there something you switch up or is it consistent? Uh, I usually just have like chicken, rice, veggies, and uh, you know, on the road, I'll, I'll have a little more pasta, I think, kind of, you know, when we get those, those buffets, but usually kind of chicken, rice, veggies. Oh, one. <laughs> you want this one? It's hot. <laughs> you're always very calm off the ice, and even sometimes when things get wild on the ice, you're able to maintain that composure. Is that something you pulled more for your mom or your dad, or where did you learn that? Uh, yeah, I feel like I was kind of a bit of a spaz as a kid, like on the ice. I, I get so mad at everything, and it's something that you know I wanted to work on. And you know, I still get that get pretty mad. I think a good amount, but uh, you know, I think uh, you know my mom's really good with that. She's always kind of level-headed and. And uh, you know, no matter what, what they're they're going through, obviously she uh, she's kind of you know calm. So I, I'm giving you the praise for being calm on the ice. But if you have a night where maybe you snap, you let something get to you, you get home. Is your mom giving it to you a little bit? Uh, she doesn't like when I get penalties, but uh, that's about it. She thinks uh, she thinks that I look a little dumb out there if, I, if I'm getting mad. But uh, no, she never really gives it to me. There to we go. The heart there we go. It's crazy to look at, at 17 years old, you're living your life under a microscope, projected to go first overall. What do you do and how do you kind of step away from that to kind of maintain that semblance of normalcy and just live life as a regular teenager? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, normal things. Like, you know, when I'm home for, for summer, obviously you go, you go see your friends and, and do that sort of thing. And obviously, you know, when you're here, you're, you're with your teammates every day. So uh, it's a lot of fun. And you know, obviously we're hanging out and doing stuff. And uh, you know, for me, I just, uh, you know, I don't think about it like, like that. I just kind of try to live my life and uh, you know, obviously enjoy it. But this one, you would have got 20. <laughs> so you guys are in the stretch run, heading towards the playoffs. And you've got mid-season golf game in form with an absolute wax and break down the shots, Connor. Yeah, well, I mean, I was I was on my game. I came prepared, and uh, you know, you uh, obviously got lucky that you didn't have to finish a hole. So uh, I'd say definitely a win for me, and I'm pretty happy about it. Connor, thank you so much for taking your time, and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. That's it for another edition of Perds versus Pats.